you besties welcome back to the channel so let's let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room I have a weird green makeshift bandage on my finger and no nail um, as I mentioned to you I'm sure already I am struggling with some eczema and you can see it here right um, definitely definitely struggling it's not and anything other than that I'm reacting to the smoke in the air from the forest fire that I live right next door to right now and um, there's really not a lot I can do about that and what happened was this particular finger got really bad and you can see like the bumps are, are in there they're eczema bumps right it's just my immune system going crazy in there and so I got a little infection because it got a little crack and my nail was keeping the medicine and stuff, the alcohol and everything from really getting in there. And so I took the nail off and I'm sure it'll be fine in a couple days, but until then I'm just trying my best to protect it. So what we're going to do is the nails on this hand, uh, which is the easier hand because I am right-handed and this is my left hand that we're working on today so what I'm gonna do is come in with some base coat and um, I've already prepped everything up I removed my other set um, this nail and this nail don't have very much product left on it you know how sometimes when you drill really thin uh, the vibration will cause it to lift well that definitely happened so most of the nail on these two is gone but there's a tiny bit left on the other three which is honestly my preferred way I just got a little too thin and um, that happens sometimes so now I'm going to cure this and then I'm going to form these up and we're going to come back and start working with some poly gel. Okay, and here we are with voiceover Gigi. Um, Cause I wanted to watch a movie while I did my nails. So I just stopped talking <laughs> after I cured that and decided to do a voiceover. So what I'm doing now is just getting some of that poly gel ready. And let me just tell you, this is not firm. And I'm showing you that right now. It's very, movie it not <laughs> oh my gosh it moves easily very movie oh y'all y'all I'm having a day I don't know what else to tell you having a day speaking of having a day that's why this video is coming up late I'm sorry I slept late I should have done the editing yesterday I didn't I'm doing it right now so um, what I'm doing now is patting and pressing this out in place. It is a softer poly gel. So you're going to want to at least do a flash cure um, before you move on to the next nail. So if you're working on somebody else, you could have them cure a nail while you work on the other hand, back, back, back and forth. So that would work out just fine. But I really, even the, the little bit of time it took me to make this nail pretty, um, I did feel like... I was getting close to having some, like right here on the sidewall, that needs to be cleaned up. So, um, but it's nice. I really like the pink. It's, it works really well. Um, I did not use the white in this set at all, but I did just put a little blob on a palette and test it to see how it works, which I'm gonna talk with you again about again at the end blah 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 and you can see here that it blends together real nice I wanted to add a little more length on this nail I didn't I didn't like that and it does you know like if you needed to move your apex or something you know maybe you didn't have your structure right it does pat and press into place really really nicely so I actually was really really happy wow I'm gonna stop saying really really I was very happy with the poly gel the pink poly gel and this is where we start to have some problems. So I'm coming in with the exact same technique that I was using. And at first you can see it's a little weird, but I'm, I'm 
I'm just working through it, but it's getting stickier and stickier. It doesn't matter what happens. So I stopped using that brush because it was really gumming it up. And I really like that brush for my poly gels. And it's always been really clean. Um, and I just didn't want to keep using it. So I came in with one of my gel brushes and this is actually a poly gel brush. I just use it for my gels. Um, and I start, I realized right away this alcohol situation, mm, not for the clear. This clear is not a poly gel. This is an extremely thick builder gel. So I finally got the shelf the way I wanted it. But let me just say, because the, it, it was too thick, you guys. I wish I had done my shelf a little thinner, but now we're just coming in with some of that wine berry color uh, cream gel. And I'm laying down some color. We're gonna encapsulate today. I'm sure you know that because you saw the picture on the thumbnail. So we're just going to blob that around. And on the other nails, I do it differently. I just paint the whole nail. I decided I liked that look a little better. So, and it doesn't really show that it's very different from this nail to the others because there's so much flotsam and jetsam on there um, that it really is completely covered. Now I'm coming back in with that poly gel and just doing an extremely thin coat. Like it works really well like that, but it is very stringy and very sticky. I'm wondering if you could maybe thin it out a little and make spider gel with it. Maybe we should do that in a video. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to try that. Now I'm just throwing down all that flotsam and jetsam I talked about. We've got some glitter and some triangles and mylars and you can see some stars up there. Uh, we've got four colors of mylar, blue, blue and white. It's sort of a silver blue white combo, the bluey purpley combo up there the uh, oranges and the pinks and these little uh if you buy these make sure they're cut like in a stack so they stick together a little make sure you pop them apart or you will add it's very thick it's just very thick if you don't and i'm going to add a couple stars in here those stars if you do it on one side it's sort of a matte color if you do it on the other side it's iridescent so it's kind of fun to go back and forth with that there's another triangle here comes a little bit more of this and that a little more glitter a little more mylar here's another color of the mylar we're gonna put it right there and that's what i'm saying you can really i decided since you really can't see that there's not color everywhere. I decided to just go with color everywhere. I don't show the other nails. I did actually try to film one, but it, guys, the footage was ridiculous. So I just didn't show it to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to be a good YouTuber. You just wait and see. I'm working on it. I've made some decisions in my head just recently that I know are gonna propel me forward. So, and I'm really been scripting and just focusing and meditating and um, manifesting. So I know it's happening because uh, you guys are here, you're talking to me, you're engaging with me, you are awesome. And I really appreciate your time. I hope that you are enjoying my content and that you will let me know the kinds of things that you would like to see me do here because that's what it's all about, making you guys happy. Um, so now we're just encapsulating and I have finally got the hang of it, as you can see. It's all about gentle presses and pats. I ended up just putting the poly gel directly on the nail. It had ended up being a little thick in the middle, but I'd rather, I'd rather file a couple extra minutes than worry about trying to get the thickness perfect on application, right? It's okay to file a little. And I'm just, here's the trick. You've got to use the base coat. Where this is concerned, you cannot just use alcohol. You cannot wet your brush with any other medium. You need to take the base coat that comes with the poly gel, load your brush with it, but not too wet. 
kind of a dry load, if you know what I mean, like load it and then dry it off on a clean section of your palette and then just press and pat. And if it starts to feel a little sticky, reload your brush, dry it off again and come back in. Now there's not a lot I think that you can do to stop that stringiness. You're just gonna have to learn to do that little swirly motion to break it. Now we are coming in on the thumbnail and the pinky. We're just gonna use this light pink. I did actually right at the end, and I had didn't realize I had paused the camera, right at the end on the second coat, um, I add just a little swirl of the darker pink. That's all, I just took that wine color and swooshed it down almost in a dry brush motion and gave it sort of a variegated color and you'll see that in a minute when we do our, oh, you can see it right there on the pinky. I just thought it made it match a little more. It just brought the pink, the darker pink from the other nails in. Now you can see we've already filed and everything and that's why we did the, the, uh, the painting on that. And anywhere that you made a mistake um, and it was maybe too thick and you had to file away some of the color, just come in with your brush with a little dry, it's just dry, right? You don't want it to be, because this is sort of a see-through set, it's not perfectly see-through, but if you hold it up to the sun, you can definitely see light through it. Um, so you just want to come in with a really light touch and fill in those spots. Now we're going to do the top coat. And of course, we're going to do these cream nails first, which is lovely. Do not get me wrong, totally lovely. You can see I made a little mistake in my filing there, so... That's not good. But we are definitely saving the, um, the glitter nails for last because <laughs> I am so in love with these nails, you guys. I actually re really like the cream ones too, the way that the two pinks are there together. It's really cute. I don't know why I did that. I think I was struggling. I think I was struggling on that pinky nail. I do struggle with my pinky nails. Let's come in a little for that glitter. Let's come in. Oh, oh. Look at the dimension in that encapsulation. Look at the shine. Oh my goodness. That's why I like the mylars and the glitters and all the things together. It just, oh, it looks so pretty. I got a lot, little underneath, so I cleaned it out with my brush. And I do actually hit the underneath of these with top coat, just to make sure that you can really see the shine all the way through. Now I do want to tell you the voiceover is going to end here in just a minute and we are going to pick up with me back on camera with you. So here we go for that. All right guys, here is the finished look. I'm not going to do any Thing else to it, we're just gonna let the glitter shine and look at how shiny it is indeed. Absolutely love how this came out. So let's give my first impressions of the Model 1's Poly Gel. Um, these two, and I did test the white off camera even though uh, I didn't do anything with it in this, I just put a little on one of my palettes and check to see if you can use alcohol with it and you can. This one and this one are actually poly gels. This is an extremely thick builder gel. This is not poly gel. You cannot use any kind of alcohol or slip solution with it. Sorry, I got some oil on it. Um, you have to use the base coat and if you don't use the base coat, it sticks to your brush really a lot. Not the way that a traditional gel would where it would try to separate, it just gets into your brush and stays there. It's, there's no, there's no letting go, right? Once, once you're on your nail. Once I got the trick of it and realized that if I just put a little bit of base coat on my palette, and not too much. Just grab a little on a brush and work it in. Then it seems to work just fine. Okay, let's go ahead and just, just put a little right here. We're not gonna do anything except play a tiny bit. Oops, that didn't work very good, guys, sorry. 
Um, once you have that on there, I got a little hair in there, I think, then you can, then you can pat it out, right? See how it'll pat out? But you've got to have that base coat. Otherwise, see how you can pat it out? But as soon as that base coat is gone, it just wants to stick to your brush. So definitely, if you're going to buy this kit, do as instructed with the clear and only use base coat as your spreading medium and tapping and pressing is your best bet. The other two, when I built the, the pink nails, they were just like traditional poly gel. I had no issues at all. They are a little on the soft side, kind of like, um, I would say somewhere in between Ye Yogi and Burano. Okay, do you see how this clear, like if this was normal builder gel, I would have been able to just wipe it off this. But it is so sticky and thick and viscous and I, it worked okay. I'm gonna say it's not my favorite gel. These two are fine. I do not love the Model 1's clear. I probably, if I were gonna continue, if I decide to continue working with the Model 1's, I will buy individuals and not buy packs with the clear. Um, I'll just stick with, you know, like using a builder gel that I have in my collection or something already. Uh, but, you can't deny the outcome is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And as far as these go, we already knew I loved these. So there's no denying that this part of the set is just dreamy. It's dreamy, you guys. I like the base coat. It's a little thin, but that's okay. Um, I have not used the top coat. We will in future videos because with... Even the tiny bit of pink that's still in my hair, um, staining. So I really, even though these are pink nails, uh, I'm going to be putting more in my hair soon. So I just wanted to make sure I had my stain resistant. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming by and testing out Model 1's Poly Gel All-in-One Salon Kit with me today. And we will see you next week for other awesome videos using many of these products, I'm sure. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you next time.